And you? She's loud. Not so sure about her <laughs> relaxing answer. All right, well, will you please welcome uh, the stars of the international hit play, My First Time. It's Posh and Pecks. It's Lee Arnold and Keith Duffy. <laughs> Hello. And there. You're very welcome, oh, lads. Thanks very much. Um, good to see you both. You are, before we get into talking about this play of yours, you were just back from South America? Peru, yeah. Peru, what yeah. were you doing there? I was uh, doing the Inca trails up to Machu Picchu, the hidden city. Climbing, um, climbing hills and mountains with these. Yeah, this that's crowd it, here. yeah. For those, fun? Or those for charity? guys there, that, that group there, actually, we broke records. That was the first plateau that we arrived to. Yeah. And um, the, the, any group that had done it before us uh, took them two hours to get to that point. The altitude gets to you, so you have to slow up and take your time. So two hours for everyone else, for yeah, you? Yeah, we, we managed to do it in, in an hour and 52. Go on, you good yeah. dick. Yeah. And in the process, you raised a lot of money, I suspect, yeah? We, we made, raised an awful lot of money for Irish Autism Action, and I, I think we made enough money to basically uh, put the services together to diagnose over 120 children with autism. So, um, well, good on you, Keith. Fair play to good. you. Yeah. Um, Lee, the clinic's back on our screens. I clinic know. fans in with us tonight? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Some yeah. interesting storylines for you. We might, uh, we might talk about them later on, but let's talk about the matter in hand. And Please tell me, what are you bold pair up to this time? <laughs> well, we're, we're doing a play. There was a play. There was a play going on for a long time called The Vagina Monologues. Mm -hmm. And it was basically four actors on stage reciting monologues about what I just said. Mm -hmm. Um, our play is uh, our no, play no, is natural. We're all grown. It's natural. Please. Our, our, our play, we, we talk about your first time, mm -hmm. and and basically various different stories. There was a website set up in the states about 12 years ago, and encouraged people to log on and to explain what happened their first time. And there's so many different stories, and it's it's not all perverted. It's not all funny. There's some very sincere stories. Mm -hmm. There's some very out there stories that you'd never actually imagine and uh, basically we try and put them all together and uh, myself, Lee, we've got uh, Claire Tully and yeah, uh, Alan Short. We had a picture us. of the four of you there, Claire, um, Claire Tully who's the page three girl, Alan Short who's not a page three girl, um, <laughs> is, is with you. So these stories, Lee, that you're, mm. um, you're recounting, is there, a, um, is there a trend to them? Is there a kind of a theme to, to uh, the story? Well, I mean, the, Apart the, from the, obvious. The, the obvious theme is, is, is what's going on fundamentally throughout, but everyone's, it, they're individuals. So we're basically four actors playing 40 to 70,000. Now, we're not actually doing that many, but different individuals. So everyone's got their own story. Everyone's got, you know, they're going to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. Some, most people are going to go, oh, no, I remember, oh, yeah, feeling quite awkward. Everyone's uh -huh. got something that they, they familiarize themselves with. Some of them are pretty heartbreaking, you know, and you'll be surprised. I think you're going to go in thinking that you're going for McDonald's and come out thinking that you had a five five star meal, really. You know, absolutely. it's, it's absolutely. Absolutely. that should be on the poster. Really that was such a good line. I think yeah. so. You think you've gone to McDonald's? You've just <laughs> kind of dissed you've, you've them. You've been to Gibos. You've been to Gibos. And then you're going to have a restaurant. Stop yeah. it. You've had the foie gras or whatever you call it. <laughs> foie gras. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're pre watershed here, Aiden. So you know, we're, yeah, go too far. we're limited to what we can tell you. But we're in the Olympia. We're opening on, on the 14th, which is next Wednesday, and. Uh, it's it's not a family show, let's be honest, but um, it's definitely Don't a show bring that the kids, yeah. if you're uh, if you're 17 or if you're in the age of consent, At you should definitely come that. along and have a look and see what's going on. Okay. Plus, we're all going to be naked on stage. Well, so if you need well, any encouragement, boys and anyway. girls, Keith Duffy's going to be naked. <laughs> probably not for the first time. Well, no, probably, probably not for no. the first time um, in public. No. This has been a massive hit in in the states, all particularly the states. off Broadway. Yes. Um, so they're going to share stories that came into the American website. Is your play particularly Very Irish? Very much so. We set up a site called www.myfirsttime.ie yeah. and we actually asked people to write in with their own stories, obviously anonymously. It is amazing the amount of people that have written in and been so honest. Hands and up here, anyone who did it? It's like a confessional, it's isn't it? So you're not, not going to raise not your hands. hands up who did it. No, hands who, up who got onto the website. <laughs> hands up who's had their first time. <laughs> Too shy. I'll give you that one. Hands up who's did it. <laughs> My Hands God, up who entered onto the website fantastic. is what Keith's trying to ask. Okay, no one in here, so it's it's uh, distinctly Irish stories. You two are so involved. <laughs> no, but we're, we might we're, be wearing we're, matching we're, shirts, um, Lee, but you're still we're, we're, in the bad now. Yeah, I, I like the fact that you still rang you each other last night. This is, this is, this is you know I'm told, I mean? um, on trend, Keith, at the moment. We're on trend, fashion, really. Well, we're in fashion. I'm a little bit off trend, but we're touring as well. We're going to Waterford, Cork, Kerry, Limerick, Galway, Castlebar. Oh, yes. We're going everywhere. We're taking it on the road. You like Castlebar. You said Castlebar. I said Castlebar. Great. Experience of touring 
So you, you no doubt this is going to be no bother to you, Lee. You're on tour with Keith and I've Alan never and Claire. Been on tour, no, so I'm really excited. No, but it's all changed now. They used to say what goes on tour stays on tour. Yeah. Now they say what goes on tour goes on YouTube. Oh yes. <laughs> you have to be so careful of the mobile phones, don't you? The video Absolutely. cameras. Absolutely. Um, all right. As you say, starting the Olympia Wednesday week. We won't talk any more about it. <laughs> it's just not worth it. What else is going on with you two? Uh, I will talk about the clinic in just a moment. But what, what, what's happening with you? The whole boys own thing was going on. Where's that at the moment? Well, basically, we're uh, we've to deliver the new album for next June. So um, we've. Uh, narrowed down 200 songs down to 30 songs at the moment that we're all kind of ciphering through that to, you wrote to try it out there's some songs that yeah. we've wrote there's some songs that other people have uh, suggested to us we've okay. been working with greg wells who, who did apologize and uh, kerry perry's new album and we're working with Gre greg alexander from the new radicals who wrote like the roller coaster big Roman. songwriter and, isn't he yeah. yeah we've got some really great tunes but that we're going to deliver them by june next year hopefully have them released by september but in the meantime i'm heading back to live in manchester for six months to do uh, go back into Coronation Yay! Street. That'll please a lot of people. Yeah. So life so, is great for you at the moment. Well, you're you know, fine, I get, I'm, doing the, I'm doing this play to kind of get the Kieran McCarthy character back together again so he can go this back will to help. the show. Yeah, because he missed out on Deirdre and Gail the last time, and I can't <laughs> wait to get back there for that. He's a Casanova. You know what I mean? Oh, you've got some interesting months coming up for you. Oh, you have um, no idea. Lee, maybe it's perhaps not as exciting for you in the clinic. I don't know. Is it interesting enough storylines with That's them? That's great. It's, it's fantastic. I mean, we, we finished filming six weeks ago now, so... Um, but it's great. it's on. I think this is Thursday, Sunday coming up now. This Sunday, um, Cloda's life has gone full circle. You know, she's, she's now, turned into a man. She, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to Both. take the mick out of him? It's very it's heavy. It's very about serious that word, isn't it? That anyway, it's Sunday nights on RT, yeah. and we look forward to that. Thank you very um, much. And good luck in. with the show. Thank you very uh, much. No doubt you have. We'll see you on Wednesday night. You come on, you come on Wednesday night. Oh, I'll be there. You come on Wednesday night. I put my story on the internet, so I'll be there. Yeah. All right. Wednesday night in the Olympia, it's touring the country now. Before Eamon's conspicuously quiet over there in the corner, staying out of all this. Before we uh, do anything else, we've got to find out who's going to take part in the Cafe Darts Challenge. Eamon, it's you versus Keith or Lee. Which one of you is going to play this? Well, I've played before. So Have I, thought, you? I thought Lee might give it a shot. so kind. Right, so it's, it's going to be Lee versus oh, Eamon. And what we're going to do to find out who plays the Cafe Darts Challenge in honour of the match tomorrow, and indeed our great Italian manager, we're going to play a game that we like to call Trappatoni. So, Eamon, if you can talk around to Chef, and Lee, if you come over here with me, uh, we'll explain a little bit more of uh, what's going to happen, Keith. You can watch on from there. Uh, Eamon, take your position over there. Lee's yeah. going to come over here. And uh, as you can see here, we've uh, three gentlemen who are going to help out. Your name is? Tony. Your name is? Tony. And your name is? Tony. OK, ah. so we've got three Tonys. Come back over here if you would, Lee. Just okay. back there. Uh, I'm going to give you these. Eamon has the same. There is three hoops. What you must do is throw your hoops. Whoever gets one uh. over a Tony gets to play the Cafe Darts Challenge. So, in effect, the first person who traps a Tony is playing darts. <laughs> yeah, she loves it. Are you ready to do this, folks? Eamon, yeah. Lee, on your marks. Let's trap a Tony. Go! Uh. No! Do it! Uh. Close! Uh. We have a winner! We got a You get to play uh, a Cafe Dice Challenge. Tony, okay. Tony and Tony slip off. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. And Chef, take it away. Let's play dance. All right, Lee, let's go. Let's go. Now, up to the hockey, as we call it, just here. All right, come on, Chef. All right, Katie Taylor was with us last week. We're having happy buttons. You don't even know how to hold them. I have never started before. Katie Taylor, 76. It's a tough score to beat. Can you do it, Lee? We'll try our best. Okay, three darts. Can she do it, folks? Give her a big yes. support. Here's Lee. Let's play darts. Ooh, that's three. That's six. You need a big score now, Lee. Go for it. And three. All right, Chef, let's do the match. Three and three and six. Lee Arnold scores 12. Hey. It's not the worst, let me say that. It's not the worst. So, but for the moment, I'm afraid, because there's no one else as bad as that, you're bottom of the board. Lee Arnold, Keith Duffy, and Eamon Dunphy, thank you all very much.